They can be a convenient way to get around or maybe a total nuisance depending on who you ask. <laughs> Electric scooters have been off the streets of Dallas for the past year and a half, but that could actually change. So we're asking how you feel about scooters in your community. Wherever you are, head to WFA.com slash vote now. I know most people don't like them, at least those that vote in our poll, Suzanne. Uh, you're going to break down some ideas on what could be a possible comeback. Right, yeah, you love them or hate them, right, Kara? So I have a few videos I want to show you as to why the city of Dallas banned these Lime scooters back in September of 2020. It essentially came down to a safety concern and just clutter on the roads. But here's a video of a guy riding a Lime scooter across five lanes on I-35. You can't hear the driver, but he basically tells him, what are you doing? Another video I want to show you shows a rider right here hits a door that was open here on the sidewalk and he, he got hurt there. But that's the thing. Pedestrians were getting hit and riders were getting injured. And in some cases they were killed, which is why these Lime scooters are banned. But now they could be making a comeback next year but with stricter regulations. So here's what we know about it. The city found scooters to be critical for residents with no car to get to jobs, to get to school or darts redrawn bus routes. But city council tasked a small group to study scooters and here's what it recommended. So they recommend contracting with only three companies, letting them operate a few hundred each, maybe using geofencing, uh, set virtual boundaries where scooters won't work and then having set pickup and drop off locations. So that they're not scattered everywhere. Now, even with regulations, some people think that these scooters will still be a nuisance. Like big red letters, no scooters on the sidewalk. And it's at like every bar in the windows and nobody listens to it. Like it's just, God. Yeah, some people, they're just frustrated with that. But looking forward to August, uh, council could request um, a proposal for that, but they hope that maybe bringing these scooters back and having those stricter regulations, Karen Mark, that maybe we could eliminate some of the problems that we were seeing before. No question, they are polarizing. Thank you for that update, yeah. Suzanne. It is 637. So